Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, me and BBC are going over the seven star step tile raid. This is actually quite a difficult raid to do. I've struggled. I thought I was going to have some really good builds, but it looks like we've fallen back into Annihilate. So we've brought back Deddy Kong. Uh, obviously, the build here follows a similar pattern. We are Terror Ghost holding a Shell Bell, obviously max level. Um, this can be a little bit frustrating. So the build here is Taunt, Bulk Up, Rage Fist. You can ex ignore Screech. I did try. It can help out sometimes, but it's much less consistent. You obviously want to make sure lower special attack, higher attack, defined as the ability, as if he does hit you. Um, with, I can't remember the name of the attack, but it will increase um, your attack, which is obviously what you want. You want max. EVs there in attack and defense. I put the rest in HP. I have tried HP over defense. He does only use attacking moves on you, so it isn't worthwhile. It's better to have in defense. This has been a really, really annoying build, um, to be completely honest, so let's get into it. So I'll comment the step-by-step -step guide uh, underneath as well. You do want to try to get an Intimidate user. A lot of luck comes into this. I've beaten this about six times now with the Annihilate, um, just trying to get the right footage. You do want an Intimidate user. Um, it does help out massively. You can do it without it. Um, you can do it with it. But it comes down to luck. I've had a lot of builds fall with crits. So what will usually happen is it will open up with a Dragon Dance. So you want to get that Taunt off as fast as possible to be able to stop it from increasing its ability. Obviously, that is going to be what is detrimental to you. You want to make sure that it is hitting you with attacks, which will also boost Rage Fist. So as soon as it falls for that Taunt, you want to hit Bulk Up which means that it will uh, stop increasing its attack and just start to hit you most likely with Leaf Blade. It does mix it up between the two um, and obviously having that Intimidate user every time he goes down and spawns back in, it will lower its attack level again. So you want to go for a second bulk up there. Now you can see that increases both our attack and defense, give us some, a bit more survivability. Um, as I said, luck does play into this one massively. Then you can hit it with a Rage Fist to open up and get some damage off. As you'll see, it already does a fair bit of attack here. Um, if you do have any thoughts there about the poison, ignore that. That's completely irrelevant to this build. It, it, you know, it helps out, it's nice to have, but it is not a big thing. So that Breaking Swipe there is that move that will lower your attack but then increase it. Um, because of that defiant ability. So obviously being hit by that is really good, but there is no way to force that to happen It will just mix it up and kind of randomly hit off there So as you can see it does lower everyone's attack But it will go back up for us because of defiant hits us again with a leaf blade We're tanking those pretty easily at the moment and obviously every time uh, the Straptor comes back, it does hit it with that intimidate. So there we go We want to hit it again with another bulk up after it resets your stats Pretty straightforward on that one there, increasing the attack and defense once again. Another Leaf Blade, basically that combination is all that's going to happen the whole time. Then you do want to hit it with a Taunt, it will take some of your Terror Orb, which is really annoying, so just checking here to make sure I can get another Taunt off, because if you do it at the wrong time it will fail, which basically can mess up your run, which is incredibly annoying, um, and has happened to me a few times. We get that taunt off, it falls for it again. Um, like I mentioned earlier, the crits in this can be incredibly annoying. I've had I've had runs with no crits. I had a run earlier where I got hit by four, and I obviously gave up on that one. If that does happen, guys, just quit. Start again. It's seriously so much easier. Don't put yourself through the frustration, because I was incredibly frustrated earlier, especially when I was trying to do my Azumarill build, which did not work. So hit the bulk up there again. Obviously giving you that survivability. We're going to start getting into the damage dealing stuff soon, which is good. Don't stress that um, the timer is starting to get lower. It does switch very quickly. So you want to hit another Rage Fist here as we're slowly building up our Terror Orb. And as you can see, still does decent damage um, with that Shell Bell kind of giving it back. But it does go crazy once you do hit your Terror. So you just basically want to be surviving into that point and minimizing the amount of time that it can boost itself because um, obviously it's quite weak when it isn't boosted which is the main uh, issue that you're going to run into which is why I had Screech in there, ignore Screech doesn't really help um, I have had a run where I finished it, I was done by now using Screech but it's so inconsistent it isn't worthwhile but mess around with it if you want to give it a shot it does hit us again with another Leaf Blade there and then there we go, we want it to see, once that's done, you're pretty in the clear, um, able to just constantly build up. So hit it again with another Rage Fist, as mentioned earlier, it'll slowly be increasing, and obviously as we take those attacks as well, it will increase the damage. So 
pretty solid there. Gets us a bit of health up again. Not nothing too much, but as you'll see, here we go. We can finally hit him with that terror rage. So you want to go terror ghost here, so you have the extra stab damage. Um, if a few weeks ago we used annihilate build, it was fighting. Just switch that over um, to ghost. Obviously, that's the most beneficial uh, build you can have. I guess you could do Stella as well if you really wanted. Haven't messed around with Stella too much. Don't really like it too much. Um, but we're at the point now where the damage from this Rage Fist is going to be so massive that as you would have seen, we took a bit, bit of damage then. We should be full health after this. Um, that well, as you can see, I got lucky with a critical hit, but you don't need the critical hit. Um, obviously, it's nice when it happens, but you don't need it. Um, that's why we didn't bother with a Focus Energy. Although you could do Focus Energy instead of Screech if you wanted to get it off in there, but it's just, this seems to be the most consistent I've been able to build this out, this attack pattern is what I try and follow every single time. Um, I will comment as well so you guys can see, so you don't need to keep, um, you know, going back through the video, but as you can see, no way that we can fail this now. He will, when the shield goes down, hit with a multitude of attacks in a row, usually an Earthquake and then a Leaf Blade again. Earthquake doesn't really do too much. Um, obviously, the Staraptor to the next, <laughs> next to us doesn't get damaged at all. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Thunder Punch you'll be able to eat as well. No issue there. Here we go. Final Rage Fist. We will get through this quite easily. So this has been a really frustrating one. I know I've seen people use Clefairy and um, Clefable, sorry. Um, and I've seen some people using some other like Magurna and stuff like that. For me, I think this is the most, this is the easiest build to get through. Uh, it's definitely not the most consistent, but when it does work, it smashes through quite easily. So as you can see, we still have plenty on the timer there. Uh, I have no fancy balls left. Um, that match it, so I'm just gonna go with whatever, like maybe, maybe Nest Ball, I don't know. Um, but comment your builds below, guys, put those links in there. If you have a better build or you have an optimization on this, let me know below and I'll pin your comment. Um, obviously, if this guide helped you, leave a like on the video and comment and subscribe, it really helps us out. We're pushing towards a thousand subscribers now, which is crazy, never thought that was gonna happen. Um, and also if you're into Pokemon cards, we do have a store, we run a store, we're a licensed distributor, so we will have those new sets up soon. So don't forget guys, you will get that Herba, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.